Hey, what's going on you guys? This is Chad from CWC Technologies and I have an exciting review video for you today. I want to thank my friends over at Razer for sending over this brand new Razer Blade Stealth 13. Is this good enough for gaming with the MX150 graphics processor? Is it light enough to take with you everywhere on the go? Can you do any kind of video editing on it? What about fan noise and temperatures? We're going to answer all those questions today, so stick around. So this is the beautiful brand new Razer Blade Stealth 13. Now the version that I have has the NVIDIA GeForce MX150, which I recommend if you want to do any gaming or video editing or content creation. They have a bunch of different options that you can choose from. Uh, the first one, of course, starts with an Intel Graphics 620 processor, all the way up to a 4K touch display with 512 gigs of SSD. So a lot of different options to fit your budget and needs. So just like the base model 15 edition, this has a single zone RGB lit keyboard, so it doesn't have the individually lit keyboard like you'll find on the advanced model. But one good thing with that is the function row is lit up this time, so you can actually see those function keys. The keys have about 1.2 millimeters of travel and they feel really good to type on. The only strange thing with this keyboard is the shift key should be where the up arrow key is, so that still is a problem. The glass trackpad is fantastic, one of the best that I've ever used on a Windows system. Now as far as I.O. ports go on the left hand side, you can see you've got a USB Type-C which is a Thunderbolt 3 and a USB 8 with a 3.5mm headphone jack. And on the right hand side you've got another USB Type-A and a USB Type-C which is Thunderbolt 3. And I did get asked if you can power the unit from either side of the system and yes you can. So you can see here that I've tested it from the left and the right hand side and it has no problem powering from either side. Now as far as the sound goes, they have two top firing speakers and they sound really good. I'd say they're about equivalent to the MacBook Pro 13 editions if you've heard those before. Now the model that I have here is the standard HD 60Hz version, but you can get a 4K version on this, but that is going to cost you a little bit more money. And one good thing that they've added this year is the new Windows Hello camera system, so you can unlock this computer using just your face. Now Razer's claiming to get around 11 hours with the 53 watt battery, but in my real life testings, I'm getting anywhere between 4 to 6 hours depending on your usage. The system is powered by this 65 watt charger which is extremely small and portable and you can see it is a USB type C. Now when we look under the hood this is using a light on SSD. The reads are 3000 and the writes are 1000. It's also using an Intel 9560 for its Wi-Fi chip and I had no issues using that. So you can see a size comparison here, what it looks like next to the brand new MacBook Air. And if you guys want to see a comparison for that, make sure you leave a comment down below. So one of the main advantages for you creators out there is the fact that this has two USB-Cs and two USB-A ports, so you don't have to live that dongle life. So if you do create a lot of content and you need a lot of ports, I'd definitely go with the Razer Blade Stealth. And you can even open the display with one hand. Now one of the main advantages to using one of these 13 inch laptops is it's lightweight and it's portable. So you can see here it's around 2.1 pounds and with the adapter it's only a little over 3 pounds. And in comparison, the MacBook Air is the same thing around 2.1 pounds and the brand new Surface laptop is the same thing again around 2.1 pounds. Now what I thought I would do is show you some real world scenarios where you can actually see if you can video edit and do some content creation work with this system. Now right here I'm using DaVinci Resolve Studio 15. I'll also leave a link down below where you can get your copy for free. But you can see that this easily handles any 4K video with no problem doing editing. I also add some colors, some LUTs onto this. I uh, do some different things with speed ramping. So this system with the NVIDIA GeForce MX150 and this software has no problem doing any type of video editing. So sure, you can do all that video content creating, but can you have fun on your downtime? So I'm going to play a couple of AAA titles here just so you can see an example. I'm going to leave the sound on just so you can also hear the fans on the system running. So here you go. Normal 
audio. So the big question of the day is, is this system worth it? I would say absolutely. If I was going to get this system and do any type of content creating or video gaming though, I would make sure to get the version with the GeForce MX150. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to click that thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next video.